Hello, hello, it is the DE Diva, a.k.a. the Delaware Blogger, coming to you again, talking about podcasting your purpose. And yesterday I started that first series, Podcasting Your Purpose, podcast for family and for kids while you're home during the pandemic um, and you're doing social distancing. But let's take a step back just a minute. Last week or two weeks ago, I had an opportunity to teach Podcasting Your Purpose, and it was, you know, it was a great, great Time. So I said, you know what, let me come back here and start all over again, because a lot of people still don't know what a podcast is, still don't know how to start a podcast. So I'm going to say, you know what, let's talk about a podcast. What is a podcast? Most people know, they hear it all the time, and it's increasing um, people's brands e- immensely. Smart money is going towards podcasting. Once ago, not too long ago, people were not podcasting. They were blogging. They were still doing advertisement on television and radio and the like. But now that people are podcasting, they're understanding that this is content that they can create, content that they can share, content that can broaden their brand because their clients, their customers, their readers, their followers can consume that content anytime anywhere. They have total control and you know we love control. Having that content, that pod, that 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 broadcast, I like to say it's radio reimagined, but it's much bigger than that. It's becoming, um, I believe uh, Katie Couric said that uh, a podcast is becoming, is changing from mass media to niche media because people are able to bring content that is of their passion, of their purpose, and they can share with those that want to find and follow them. So podcasting is a way to distribute content on a smartphone, on a mobile device, and that's what's happening. And yesterday, again, we talked about podcasting for pastors, why it should be something that they should be looking into now, especially during this pandemic. So let's talk about why starting a podcast. Again, podcasts can be consumed at any time, anywhere. And with the invent and expansion of AI, artificial intelligence, and smart devices, people are listening to podcasts wherever. They can listen to a podcast while they're commuting. They can listen to a podcast while they're walking the dog, doing dishes, cleaning, cooking, whatever the case may be. And the great thing about it is it is pull marketing versus push marketing. People are choosing to pull down your information. They want to hear what you have to say. And the open rate is 100%. You know, when we send out newsletters, we pray for 20%. But when someone pulls down your podcast, they're looking to connect with you, to engage with you, to have a relationship with you. And not only a relationship, but an intimate relationship. Remember, the biggest sexual organ in the human body is between their ears. That's their brain. So when someone chooses to pull down a podcast and pop in these earbuds or put on a headset, they are choosing to have an intimate relationship with you. So what you want to do is you want to think about what is the content? What do you have to share? We all have a voice. We all have a vision. We can literally change someone's life. And again, smart money is going towards podcasting, iHeartRadio. NPR, Kroger grocery stores, Oprah Winfrey, the Obamas, you know, everyone is starting a podcast and it is so very easy in which to do so. The best way to do it is with Anchor FM. Anchor FM is a free app that you can download on your smartphone and you can create your own account. There's ability for you to add your own artwork. You can create your own artwork on Canva or you can use their artwork. And they do the heavy lifting for you. There's like 11 platforms that, that they send out you know, your feed to. Uh, Google Play, SoundCloud, Spotify. Speaking of which, Spotify actually bought Anchor for millions and millions of dollars. So obviously, smart money is going towards podcasts. And that's where you should be, especially now during this pandemic. This is a great way, a great time in which to share your message. As a blogger, sometimes I don't know what to write. I have to repurpose content. I have to think about what I want to write. But with a podcast, how many times do you not have anything to say? We all have something to say. And speaking of which, don't forget, head over to my blog, uh, dellblogger.com, because my basic blogging tips, that's backwards, right? Basic blogging tips for beginners book is available 
for purchase. So just go over to dellblogger.com and click the link on the left side to order your copy. And if you want to copy, order directly from me, autograph, let me know that as well. So let's talk about just why we should start a podcast. Again, smart money. Smart money is going towards podcasting. Podcasts are being turned into television shows, radio shows, and vice versa. Radio shows, television shows, and movies are being turned into podcasts. People are literally um, podcasting about movies, podcasting about television shows, and vice versa. Podcasts are becoming so popular that they're being turned into television shows and movies and Netflix and things like that. So smart money is moving towards podcasting. Again, artificial intelligence. Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is available everywhere. No longer are those days where we used to drive through neighborhoods trying to find someone's Wi-Fi signal. Remember that? Probably not, but I remember that. You can listen to a podcast anywhere. And I believe by the year 2022, every vehicle that rolls off the showroom floor or off the factory is going to be autonomous, meaning self-driving. We see these cars now are self-parking. Now, that's a scary thought. You're going to still have control of your vehicle, but what are you going to do while you're commuting? 28, 30 minutes, good, you know, longer than that if you live in D.C. or New York. But what are you going to be doing? Are you going to be fiddling with the radio? You can't read. So use the infotainment center and pull up your favorite podcast. You can listen to it while you're commuting, whether you're in an autonomous vehicle, train, plane, or automobile. When we get back to uh, not social distancing ourselves, we will be commuting again. So that's going to be a great way to capture the attention of those commuters. Also, the demographics have exploded. Once upon a time, not too long ago, the demographics were smaller. It was just a small group of people that listened to podcasts. Now, everyone listens to podcasts. Everyone makes podcasts. There's a topic for everyone. So the demographics have expanded. It's mainstream. You hear the word podcast like you used to hear the word blog. Podcast is just, everyone knows, what pod, 75% of all Americans have heard of what a, a podcast is. And that's a big population. And during this pandemic, it's only going to get bigger. The growth, again, it's only going to get bigger. As people see how easy it is, how they can share their voice, their vision, and their purpose in life, it's, 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 it's blowing up. Like I said, podcasting your purpose. Remember, I have this book here, Podcasting Your Purpose. It's a 42 page. It includes samples, it includes schedules to help you tips and tricks. So I'm going to talk about one more thing before I let you go, um, because I know you guys are like really busy today doing, I don't know what you're doing, but let's talk about why you want to start a podcast. I'm just going to give you mm, seven, seven to it's convenient and easy to consume. Like I said, it's available to everyone. Basically, it's on your smartphone, your tablet. You can pull it up anywhere. You can pull up a podcast walking the dog. You can pull up a podcast while you're cleaning, cooking, whatever the case may be. And you can create a podcast really easy. We'll talk about that as well. You can do this. You can listen to podcasts while you're driving, exercising. It's not taking you away from any of your other activities. Unlike if you're going to read a book or read a blog, you have to concentrate on what you're reading right there and you have to stay, you know, in place as you're reading nine times out of 10. But with a podcast, you've got the earbuds in, you're walking around, you're doing other things. Two, it increases your reach and it grows your audience. If you want to expand and broaden your brand online, creating a podcast to complement, supplement what you're currently doing, i.e., if you're an author and you have books and a series of books, you can create a podcast to talk about those books. You can create a podcast, a virtual um, uh, book club, if you want. If you're a blogger, you can repurpose your content, which is what I'm going to be doing again while we're here. I'm going to go through some of my old, my older posts, some of the popular posts, and I'm going to create podcasts on those posts. And I'm going to be doing that with my new podcast starting on the 1st of April. Yes, stay tuned for that. I also have my Out and About with Antoinette on the Delaware Blogger podcast, which is on Blog Talk Radio. And then on Anchor FM, I have Tech Talk Tuesday. So April 1st is going to be a new blog. I'm still working out the name of it, still working on the graphics of it, but it's going to be hitting on April, actually April 2nd, which would have been my grandmom's 
birthday had she lived. Um, it would have actually been her hundred and let's see, twenty twenty nineteenth birth, hundred and ninth birthday had she lived. But she lived to be ninety eight years old, so I was blessed to have her as well. Another thing, it's inexpensive and easy to produce a podcast. It podcast. It doesn't take fancy equipment. It takes your smartphone. You know, I use this. I purchased this from Amazon. I will leave the link in the bio, but this was less than 20 bucks. Yes, I have the Yeti mic. Yes, I have other equipment. But when you're first starting out, you don't want to spend a lot of money. So just using your own phone, this the speaker in your phone, you can record your podcast and upload it to Anchor FM. You can create a podcast episode on Zoom and convert it from an MP4 to an MP3. Easy breezy. It's not expensive. That's all you really need. Um, if you're in your home and you want to cut down on that echo, you can go into your walk-in closet. Clothes that's hanging there will be like that buffer. I've done it, you know, in a small powder room with towels around. And you can also create a fort. Remember when, when you were a kid and you created a fort, the two chairs or the, the, the table with the blanket over top, and then you sit in there? That's another thing you can do. No one's seeing you, so they can't tell you, well, you look kind of goofy underneath that table there. But that's another great way to buffer and cut down on the echo because you don't want to do your podcast outside where it's a lot of noise. And you can, you can get microphones, you can get poppers, you can get different things to buffer your voice. But again, it's easy breezy and you don't need to buy a whole lot of expensive equipment right away. As you grow then you'll want to invest more. Um, but when you start out, mm -mm, you don't need to do that. It also gives you a forum. A podcast gives you a forum so that you can interview others. So if you decide that you want to make your podcast an interview style where it's not just you, you it's not solo, this gives you an opportunity to connect with other experts in the field, the other subject matter experts. You know, there are people out there that I'm pretty sure you're dying to talk to, and they're probably wanting to share their information. And if you're finding in them and following them and asking them to um, be a guest on your podcast, I'm pretty sure they'd love it, especially now. People want to get out the word. So this is a win-win for everyone because they're expanding and broadening their brand and you are too. So now you have their audience and they have your audience. And again, it just expands and broaden your, broadens your brand online. And what that does, it makes you stand out with your competition. Again, there's nothing that any of us are doing, making, producing that can't be done quicker, faster, cheaper somewhere else. So find a way to stand out in the crowd. So whether or not you're a restaurateur and you want to keep people healthy, you can create a podcast about healthy dishes, healthy living. Uh, as a diabetic, type 2 diabetic, I'm always looking for creative recipes that is going to be healthy but tasty. So if you have a podcast that you can help people with, uh, that you can help people with health restrictions, that would be perfect, especially now during the shutdown, when you're not cooking, where you can't be with other people. What is it that we can do at home? I, I've been doing a Friday pandemic pantry recipes. So if you're a restaurateur, if you're a chef, if you're a baker, are there things that you can help people put together, create with just the things they have in their own home or ways to save money when shopping. So there's a lot of different ways that you can create content to share and, you know, outshine your competition. It builds trust with your audience. And you know, trust is important, especially when it's time for people to, to spend money. If they like you, they trust you, they'll eventually buy from you. So again, there's nothing that you can do that can't be done quicker, faster, cheaper, elsewhere. So get people to like you. They hear your voice. They hear the enthusiasm in your voice. I mean, it's so much more um, intimate. Again, remember that that intimate relationship, the sexual organ between your ears, people are listening to you. So they're going to trust you. They like you and they'll eventually buy from you. So that's another great reason why you should start a podcast. And you know what? Bottom line is you just want more exposure. You want a bigger audience. And podcasting is becoming so popular that it is giving you that platform. So if you want to create a podcast and you need help 
That's what I'm here for. I offer services, you know, 60 minutes. We can just sit down and we can talk about things. I have uh, printables for you. I have pre-launch checklists. I've got post-launch checklists. Just let me know. Send me an email, info at ablakeenterprises.com. And then think about this. There are millions and millions and millions of free podcasts out there because people are creating them. They're sharing their voice. They're sharing their vision and they're sharing your purpose. And each and every one of us has a vision, a purpose and a voice. So you should share it. I appreciate you so very much. Again, find and follow me on all my social media platforms by using the hashtag Delaware Blogger. Find and follow me and subscribe to dellblogger.com. Basic blogging tips for beginners is also available. It's a great guide, a blueprint, 48 pages, easy read, but it has a, a lot of tips I cover in here. Chapter one is choosing your topic and your niche. You know, three P's, three C's, and all that other good stuff. So just check this out if you're interested. It's really great read. You can order it. Again, I will leave the link in the comment section of this YouTube video. Also, thumbs up my video. Please subscribe to my channel. And I want you, I want to know, once you start um, podcast, I want, you, I want you to tell me why you want to start a podcast. I can tell you all day long all day, every day, but you have to come up with your own reason. So today's call to action is what is your reason for starting a podcast? You have a voice, you have a vision. You want to save, you want to share your voice. You want to share your, you want to entertain people. You want to educate people. You want to inspire people. What is the reason why you want to start a podcast? Podcasting your purpose. I'm going to come here every day as long as I can with information with um, tips and hits and hacks. And I'm going to find out where you are and I'm going to start to follow you. So again, thank you so very much, guys. This is the DE Diva, aka the Delaware Blogger, coming to you, podcasting your purpose, why you should start a podcast. And you know what? I can't wait to hear you. So until the next time, stay smart, stay safe, and stay social distancing because I will see you in cyberspace. See ya. It's the DE Diva, a.k.a. the Delaware Blogger. Have a beautifully blessed day. Don't forget, thumbs up this video and subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.